Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. I got a box in here and we're going to do something different this time and maybe in the future on this channel. What you see here isn't really available yet, but I want to let you know about it. So we're kind of caught between waiting to do a full on review, which might take a long time and telling you how to get this right now, if you're interested and show you enough to help you decide. First thing I want you to notice that Limfo has changed their boxing a little bit. There's some contact information to reach them directly. And this is really cool. You can actually become a registered Limfo member at limfo.com and get an extended one year warranty on your product. So they're really beefing things up, um, becoming very professional, which they already were, but I mean taking it to the extreme. You saw from the title of this video what this one is. It's a Limfo LEM 15. This is their brand new flagship smartwatch. We'll look at that in a second. And the box is full of goodies, including a power bank. But for those of you who already know, let me tell you the new way you're going to start getting these things is with one simple single link. I finally worked out a process with Banggood that when things are pre-released, like uh, these watches are right here, um, no problem. You can come into this one site, SWT Banggood, okay, bit.ly bit.ly slash SWT Banggood. Sadly, it has to be capitalized like that for Smartwatch Ticks Banggood. Make those letters capital. Just bookmark it and you'll be all right. You go in there and of course, uh, anything that's newly released in pre-order, uh, you can get the best price on it directly from there. Anything else that we've already reviewed, and this page just goes on and on and on. I'll have coupons, the best coupon deals available if they're not already in some form of a flash sale. And if they are in flash, they'll look like this and they won't have the coupon, but they'll have the flash price. And they have told me they'll be able to offer some of the coupon discounts lower than the flash prices they offer so you guys can get the best deals available. Okay, so once again, there is the link. Now, let's move to the actual page itself. On Banggood, you'll see this listing. I also, as always, will have a link in the show notes to take you directly to this page and you can buy it directly that way as well. It's in pre-order. There's only been 21 of them sold so far and it's an insanely good price for a $250 watch. Why so expensive? Probably the memory, amongst other things. 128 gigabytes of storage in this watch. Android 10, 4 gigabytes of RAM. It's really, really a doozy. In fact, the specs basically look like this. Here's a printout which you can read a little closer and better directly when you click on that link. And the things I want to point out are, first of all, the memory. That's a biggie. Secondly, it's Android 10, and it's a special blend of the Android 10 I'll be telling you about momentarily. And of course, it's 4G. It also is Bluetooth 5 in this watch. It also is completely ceramic, so you're going to have good signal strength coming and going and a really nice, attractive appearance. It also comes with an extra 900 milliamp hour power bank. Uh, power dock that you can use it to charge it with when you're on the go. So spec wise, it also has the new 6762 eight core processor for screaming fast performance. All of the supported uh, 4G bands are with it. It's got two cameras on it and they're being honest about the specs now. Uh, you've seen them all over the place, but the reality is it's a 2 megapixel front camera for video conferencing, a 5 megapixel side camera for taking photos. It's not going to be a high-end Apple, Samsung camera on these watches, but it'll get the job done for casual photography. All these other things are included. Built-in 900 milliamp hour battery and second power bank gives you 1800 when you're on the go. Battery should last a day, 24 hours, be honest with you, with the current firmware that's stock that came with it. Two days in standby mode. Um, 
If you can get yourself through the full day and charge it overnight every night, you should be all right. These are some other things. It's got the standard stuff we've seen on all of these Android phone watches, so I'm not going to go into great detail here. This is a uh, first impressions type video, unboxing and first impressions, size, weight, all the things you need to know about, and now let's get into it. In the box, you got two wires. One of them is the four-pin charger that you can use to charge the watch directly. The other one is a standard uh, USB to micro USB, I believe. Mm -hmm. It's not the USB-C, but a micro USB is what you connect into the power bank to charge it up. And yeah, you should be able to... Uh, connect it directly to your computer and plug it in here, plug it in the computer, put your watch on here and it activates the data pins for doing transfer of watch faces or apps or whatever you want to do. Likewise, you can plug you can plug this <laughs> into the watch directly to the computer for your transfers as well. We've got a little key, uh, quality control thing in here and we've of course got the user's manual and another little uh, operations guide here. So they've given you all the things that you're going to need to get you going. And um, if you're confused about any of it, look at some of our other extensive reviews uh, to get into the details. And this again is just going to be a first impressions and unboxing. So we want to do what we always do and show you the uh, English manual on screen in case yours doesn't come with one or you misplace it or you want to look at the manual before you buy and then we will uh, jump right into the watch yeah you can freeze frame these that's why i'm not really holding them long enough to read just uh freeze frame your youtube if you want to if you need to and if you're not interested just scroll through this it's not very long that's about a minute or so but it makes sure that you got one central resource to come where we've captured all of the stuff that's in the manual, not just flipped through it. I think, is that the last the last page? Ah, there you go. Tips. Got to have the tips. All right. It's already charged up. It's already loaded up to an extent so that I can show you uh, how it works and some of the first impressions. First impressions. It's really good. If you do not have an Android smartwatch yet, and you're thinking about it for the price, the entry price that you've got right now, this is the one to get. This is really incredible. You've got, also got a little cover over the back. You want to make sure you get all these covers off. Check the cameras too. That looks clean. That one looks clean. Um, great, great build quality. It's called IP67, which is basically splash proof in Chinese terms. You don't want to dunk it under water. It's not a waterproof watch. If you need waterproof, there are others out here, like the predecessor, the LEM14, is waterproof and um, a nice watch, but it doesn't have the memory and, and some of the other good things that this one has. Uh, removable bands, they're rubberized TPU type of bands, comfortable overall watch. A little bit on the thick side, but then all of them are because of the battery that you got to have in it. Press and hold, and it's set up initially for the sound to come on, the boot up sound and shut down sound, but you can turn that off in the new versions of Android 10. That are, uh, that are in these watches. Should get the sound here any second. Now you've got a beautiful, bright AMOLED, no, IPS, IPS screen. We're talking 400 by 400 resolution and really nice. Now I've got it set with only stock watch faces on here. Alrod's going to go, no, put some of my faces on. We will. Alrod has some great, great faces that will work on these watches. And we'll talk about those, and we've shown them in other uh, vi videos. And there's some over at the Full Android Watch uh, site, too. But these custom, these these stock faces that came with it are pretty darn interesting. That's one of my favorites. I wanted to leave on to show you the animation. First impression, this is a great watch. It's really attractive. It looks like it's going to work well. It's the same size as an LEM 12, 12 Pro, basically. Same kind of lookout, same orientation of the stuff. 
in terms of operation now inside, when you scroll down, you see it's pretty colorful. You've got a different kind of a look and feel to your controls. And that's because there's been a blending of the international firmware developed uh, in concert with the Chinese um, firmware company and the full Android watch team. Um, to go on these watches is that's an international version and then this is the stock firm from where it comes with and you're getting some really cool new enhancements out of both of those so this is right out of the box no modification to the firmware so you can see exactly how it looks and works unaltered you've got all of these things they're colorful they change from blue to yellow when you turn them on of course this is your overall brightness there's full bright there's dimmest, which is really good for nighttime, and we're running it at about a one, so we don't uh, oversaturate the camera here. Your basic quiet mode is right there, but it doesn't silent that boot up and, and shut down si sound as far as I know. We have to do that manually. We'll take a quick look at that. Um, Bluetooth and, and Wi-Fi. Um, I'm right in the house with my Wi-Fi real close by, and I'm not wondering why I'm completely orange that's really interesting it's like only a couple of uh notches there hmm that's a, something i'll have to check into and that's all you have are these just two panels there and that's typical on android 10 now when you go this way you get your notifications pushed from your phone when you're tethered when you come this way you get all of your uh your apps phone contacts and uh, sms are related to the sim that you put now in on the side here not in on the bottom so pretty easy to take the sim from your phone and slide it in here when you're going out for a jog and just have your phone's SIM, if it's compatible, AT&T or T-Mobile, part of the GSM network, just have that SIM in here. When you get back, pop it out of here, put it back in your phone, and you can get by with just having one SIM and two phones, you know, your real phone and then your watch phone. And all of this stuff works with that uh, phone uh network it does not tether and bluetooth to your phone to use your phone sim in the phone okay and none of these do your overall settings we'll take a look at then you got heart rate monitor which has been improved somewhat we hear you got this new thing on breath training where you can run uh set the time frame you want this is a one minute Oh, look at that. It's got to test your heart rate first and get that. Well, we'll play with that when we do a full review. This is, a, yeah, just a quick first impression stuff. A stock browser. There's your cameras. We're going to test those. They're on the side just to show you quickly. Uh, that's the front one up here. And I can go over here and switch it to the side. They call it a back camera, but that's over there. Take a picture. Show the picture. And yeah, it's blurry because I was moving, but that's pretty much it. The basic camera in here, back button. You got the gallery to look at your pictures. A calendar. It's not the Google suite of apps in here. Alarm clocks, music player, a, a sound recorder, the file manager. Now, this is where we're going to have some fun. Remember, I told you it has 128 gigabytes. And there's been a question. Is that real? Or has it been massaged? Because, you know, you can get some of those thumb drives that say they're 128, but they're only like two. Been, how do you say, up faked? <laughs> uh, this is really the, it's the real deal. I've taken um, a ton of my old videos, you know, the raw footage that I shoot for these things, and just uploaded them here, tons and tons of them. Here's a quick review of something. Yes, can you hear me in there? Now, I'm using... Where's my speaker? I don't know. Okay, I was, I'll pause it this way. Come on, pause. Um, we're looking at it through VLC. That's a third-party app. Highly recommend that one. I've downloaded it. You can adjust your volume right here. You can adjust your brightness from this side. And, of course, you can just play it. So I want you to hear it at full volume. Weight. It your your you hear that? That's 100% 
or 83 right there, you can actually boost it beyond 100% with this particular app. You can go full brightness and you can take it down if you want to. Okay, it doesn't seem to be changing for me right there, but you have that control on it. When you set it up, you know, for triple tap zoom, you uh, you can do that um, with their access accessibility aspect of it. You can get it more full screen. You can press and hold here. You can change it from circle screen to square screen, and you have a tiny little window right in there. All those kind of features that you've seen before is part of the stock uh uh, firmware in here and it will play uh, YouTube um, right out of the box uh, as as well if you get that all set up with it too. So I'm going to bring us back out of here. That was the um, file manager and it indeed can work as a thumb drive for you really if you want a place to back up up to 128 gigabytes of stuff. You got the weather app that's pretty much the same and the fitness is pretty much the same. Uh, it takes on a different look here. Notice they've changed them into these little cards. And so you can go in, you can set up um, your targets if you have any, and then you can uh, activate it. And it does use GPS, so you can set the positioning, turn that on, and then it'll get your position location and do your tr your tracking uh, with GPS. you got your desktop settings in here for basically selecting your dials and menu style. We're doing just kind of a linear type. You have all different kinds. You have like that, and that's the straight kind, three in a row, the clock looking format, four you know, on a page, all those and this is the, the kind of curved one, which is the one we're in right now. So you can change all of those things, too. Um, oh, we went right back to the beginning. Okay, we were down in music, file manager, fitness, and the desktop stuff. Then you got your basic Google Play Store and Maps are all in here. And overall optimization which is where we've talked before about these different things you can do, set up third uh, face unlock on it, third party uh, image improvement on the screen. Basic Android 7 migrated to Android 10 in the stock operating system and firmware. Here's a watch face store. Now this is a little different. This is where you connect to the server and we used to just see big pictures of the faces. Now you're getting them in these little uh, thumbnails with a name, a title, and a size, and a descriptor. And any one of them you want, you just hit download and it'll download it, install it as quickly as that. And then when you exit out of here and you go home, you'll be in that new watch face. And of course, you can press and hold to cycle through. There's another one that I downloaded. And then all of these are the stock faces. And we'll come back and take a look at those at the very end so you can see how they look like. We were at Watch Face Store. There's the App Store, which is a little um, store for just selected uh, apps that you can download um, that you don't need to have your Google account all set up like a stopwatch, Facebook, WhatsApp. There's a calculator and a flashlight. All of those little apps you can download just to get folks started. The face unlock and assist are right here. And there's VLC that I installed. So check this out. It is really, really smooth. It's a very fast, easy to operate watch. It feels really, really good. The build quality is excellent. Uh, it's relatively lightweight, pretty much comparable to the others. All in all, I like it. I think if you already have an Android smartwatch, a fairly recent one, there's probably no need to upgrade. It's not bringing that much new to the table. But if you're back on an Android 5 or 6 or even an earlier 7.1.1, you want the little bit larger 1.6 inch screen, you want something that's got good battery light, life and does have upgrade update capability with different firmware international version of the firmware from the full android watch team this is a great one to get into because it's the first one we've seen come out with 128 gigabytes of storage so there is a uh, featured stock watch face now if you do upgrade the firmware you won't get these faces that's a trade-off if you stick with the stock firmware you're going to get out of the box, then you'll see all of this. 
But if you, uh, that's the one we had before. But again, if you shift to the international firmware, you'll get a different set of watch faces. You can also always install custom watch faces on these watches, and there's a lot of those out there. But these, these are brand new, have never seen them before, animated watch faces that we're getting from Limfo on a Limfo watch. I expect we'll be seeing these show up on other watches in the future as well, too. Pretty fun. A lot of this little space suit guy twirling around in space. So you haven't seen it on, really. Let me do that last little bit for you. And then we'll turn you loose to go pick one of these up if you want. Okay, just a simple connection band. And there we go. System, settings, okay, let me show you some of that, some of the new stuff that's in settings. We didn't get through all of that. Down in here, you got your network interface, connected devices, apps and notifications, battery, your display area. When you get in here, you've got this night light thing that you can turn on and off, and that will um, make the screen and the writing amber in color and change it so it's softer on your eyes at night and a little bit dimmer, you notice, too. Okay, you can set a schedule up or do that instantaneously. That's kind of new. Dark theme, that everything is like what you're seeing here. Black background with white lighting on your apps and other things that it'll support. Your overall screen timeout still up to 30 minutes. You can set that. Your twist your wrist to wake and a bright screen notification. Now, that was in display. Sound is basically your volumes and uh, ringtones and things. Storage we just looked at. Notice I got it filled except for about 17 gigabytes free and it's all working fine. All of the videos are playing. It's real legitimate 128 gigs of memory in this. Uh, here's the location service information, which apps are using it your Google stuff that you set up, and then overall systems where you can do your languages and your date and time and basic reset operations for the watches there. When you get into about, there's the model and hardware, which is the LEM15. So I don't know what the watch number is. I guess that doesn't apply. You scroll further, you get your IMEI number, and then down toward the bottom, you get uh, your uh, build number. And that's what we're to show you, that right now, the one you're looking at is the Z36. That's the basic name of this kind of a watch, LEM15 coded firmware with the watch face and the boot up and all of that stuff and it's in version 1.2 released on May the 10th 2021 when you get yours it should be that or newer um, and there is of course the way to do the uh, update you go into sorry about this watch which is where we were go to wireless update make sure you're on Wi-Fi it'll go out and check to see if you have an update and if you do you can update it it'll tell you to do that right down here currently it says it's cur it's up to date last little bit of watch face joy uh, Here's another nice one here. I can brighten the screen up uh, for us a little bit. Show some of the detail. Uh, having a 400 by 400 pixel resolution is really great. Get all these other ones. Got some colorful ones like that. With your data on it, heart rate and step count and time. Just on and on. All right, let's talk once again about how you get this puppy. Head over to... SWT Banggood, that's our integrated smartwatch ticks picks. These are the watches that I recommend that they have that are the newest ones out, the ones that haven't even hit the market yet when they're in pre-sale. You can order them right through here at the best introductory price. And when they are already on the market, uh, I've got specialized coupons unique to this site now. They're not general coupons that you get when you just go there. So you really do need to come in through this front door to be able to click into the different watches. And there's a whole bunch more underneath here that you can look at in terms of the exact link and the product description information that's in the show notes as well it'll take you to this page it's right now at a pre-order price of 190 bucks basically it's typically going to be a 209 when it's in its flash sale phase and it's regularly to 250 dollars 
for a really state-of-the-art brand new watch with 128 gigabytes of storage, Bluetooth 5, and ceramic build design. Excellent, excellent watch. Yeah, I give it a thumbs up. I would recommend it. My initial impressions is it's a great watch to get if you don't have an Android watch or if you're looking to update from an older one, uh, it could be great too. And if you're a watch collector like me, hey, add it to the pile. <laughs> we'll see you again soon, gang. Thanks for watching. And I will have more review of this coming up. I just want to get this uh, first impressions video out right away so you guys can get that introductory pricing if you want it.